you must probably wonder what are the side effects of cosmic radiation when it comes to flying and how does it affect us as flight attendants when we are in the air i am going to share with you how affected we are as flight attendants by cosmic radiation is a topic that nobody really likes to touch on when it comes to aviation. Hello travel lovers! For those of you who don't know me yet, my name is Diana Maria, a former flight attendant with a decade of flying experience. I created this YouTube channel to help people like you all over the world in achieving your dreams and goals in becoming a flight attendant. On today's episode, I am going to touch on how affected we are by cosmic radiation and how does it really affect the flight attendant. Cosmic radiation is emitted during a solar event, including sunspots, coronal mass ejection, proton storms and solar flares. The Earth's atmosphere and the magnetic shield protects us from cosmic radiation. People who live at higher altitude are more exposed to cosmic radiation than people who live at lower altitude. Cosmic radiation is of particular concern for astronauts and equipment in space. The solar events that I have mentioned earlier are some of the extreme solar activities that send bursts of energy towards the Earth. Some of the energy that is sent towards the Earth it does come in the form of ionizing radiation, some it comes in the form of magnetic energy and some in ultraviolet radiation. The most important factor that we need to consider when we are talking about cosmic radiation and our exposure to cosmic radiation is altitude, number of flights, and also the length of the flight that you are considering taking. When we fly in an airplane, we are closer to outer space. With less atmosphere to protect us, truth is that we are more exposed to cosmic radiation than if we are standing on ground. The amount of cosmic radiation that we received when we are on flights depends on many things. Airline crew members need to consider their flying time more carefully. The Federal Aviation Administration tracks crew members' exposure to cosmic radiation and uses a long-term calculation to estimate their total dose. During a solar event, the FAA sends out a solar radiation alert so pilots can fly to a lower altitude so we don't get so exposed to cosmic radiation. The FAA also developed a computer software program that estimates radiation from flight. Passengers and flight crew are exposed to cosmic radiation because the shielding from Earth's atmosphere against high energy solar particles and cosmic rays is weaker at the normal cruising altitude than at the surface. The dose of radiation that you get from air travel is low. However, the dose does depend on few factors. These level of radiations are small and unlikely to affect human health. The longer you are on a flight, the more radiation you are going to receive. The higher you are at an altitude, the higher the radiation dose you are going to receive. Flying during the day, it exposes you to a large amount of radiation. A transcontinental flight at 30,000 feet, it exposes you to 1,000 times the amount you receive from security scanner devices. Flying at night can reduce that exposure by 99%. A transatlantic flight, it exposes you to 5 times the amount of a chest x-ray. That's why it is highly recommended for a flight attendant to have a very healthy lifestyle to avoid certain health complications. A flight attendant must sleep well. That's why you are going to hear cabin crew saying that they have slept after a flight 20 hours. Also, we need to eat healthy and drink plenty of water, as little as 5 liters of water per flight. You are going to hear us that we are working out regularly. Why? Because some of the radiation it is eliminated through sweat. For any questions you might have regarding the lifestyle of a flight attendant or how to become a flight attendant, I've created specially for you a monthly live event on my Facebook page. In order for you to be able to participate at my live event, make sure you do follow me so you don't miss the notification. I thank you so much for watching and if you did find this information useful, do let me know in the comments down below, subscribe to my YouTube channel and why not like it. Until next time we meet, 
let your wings spread and fly as high. Sky is your limit and who knows, I'll meet you up in the sky.